YouTube, it's Nerdcat, and I'm back with another Nerdtastic Halloween episode. And this is the second of my three full costume makeups, and I decided it'd be really fun to be an elf. I love elves, they are one of my favorite fantasy creatures, other than dragons and unicorns. But I really like them because they aren't cookie cutter. Elves are all different in every kind of to telling of an elf. They're so different in variety and personality that I really love them. They're always beautiful and mysterious, but you have the healers, the warriors, the princesses, and the goofballs, which makes me so happy to be able to become one because it's so much fun. As long as you got them pointed ears, you can have whatever kind of makeup you want. So, if you want to see how to get this charming little elf, stick around. <laughs> okay, so before I start any of the makeup, I want to alter these ears. As you can see, they're very pale plastic, so I wanted to make them match my skin tone a little better. So I'm just going in with my own foundation and applying that first to the ears and then using blushes, bronzers, and highlights to make the ears look more realistic. The beauty of these ears are that they are so easy to alter. You can either alter them with your own foundations and blushes and such like that, or you can even paint them if it's not coming out the way you want it. They are very versatile and very easy to use. I got them on Amazon. I think they were only a couple of bucks and I love them. They easily just slip over your own ears and they're just adorable. So if you love mythical kind of things and are just kind of a weirdo like me who is probably going to go to the supermarket with these elf ears on, I highly recommend buying these. So now I'm going to take this palette of contours and blushes and just work on the ears, making the tip a little bit pinker than the rest of it because I really like it when elves have like the pinkish nose and the pink tipped ears. I think it looks really cute and innocent and I really like that aspect. But you can create your ears looking the way you want them to. I'm not saying you have to buy prosthetic ears, there are other ways to make pointed elf ears, but this is definitely the easiest and probably a little bit cheaper way of doing it. Here's a quick side by side of the non-painted and the painted ear. So I'm just going to quickly do the same treatment to the non-painted ear. And here are the two ears after my coloring. So now, time for the makeup. So, this makeup is super simple because you're just going to use stuff that you already own. So I'm going in first with my foundation. Obviously, I'm going to be pale because I don't see the sun ever. So my foundation is very pale because that is my skin tone. But all you're going to do is put on your normal foundation, cover up all of that, and make sure that you cover your ears as well because you are going to put those fake ears on top of it so you want a smoother transition into the fake ears. I mean, it's still going to be super noticeable that you're wearing fake ears, but if you can color match it a little better, it won't be, like from a distance, it won't be that noticeable.
and I'm just going in with some cover up. I always do it under my eyes and a straight line around my right by my cheekbones just as a quick highlight and then also to cover up any splotches and such. So now I'm going in with the gold highlight I used on my ears. Um, I'll keep going back and forth with this highlight because I really thought she needed to sparkle since she is an elf. Why not make her very sparkly and ethereal looking? Of course you can't see it in my lighting because I don't have a very good lighting setup. So the highlight is not given its justice. but. It's, it's a lot. I'm going to keep putting it on. So, um, I also put it on my ears too so it matches when I put on the fake ones. I put a little bit of blush to begin with. I go back to this later on as well because uh, I wasn't sure how I wanted the blush to look. Now I'm taking a light brown from my contour palette and contouring my nose. I've said this many times before, I am not good at contour, I don't understand it, but I do know that it's necessary sometimes, and since it's an elf, she does need a little bit more sharper lines, or at least the illusion of sharper lines, so I did contour my nose a little bit, and I later contour other things as well. I also added some pink to my nose because I wanted her to have that kind of innocent look, so Now for my eyes. I decided that my elf was going to be a little bit more natural toned. So I went in with a nice brown eyeshadow at first and using another brush to make that wing effect of the eyeshadow since I'm not going to have a defined wing later on. I'm keeping most of the brown super concentrated at the outer corner of my eye because I'm later going to apply uh, other colors as well and I wanted the brown on the outer corner. So now I'm going in with a baby pink color because I really thought that was a nice um, light tone to have on the inner corner of my eye and it was a nice transition from the light to the dark kind of natural brown and I just like pink and brown together it's a nice color match now I'm going in with a kind of prismatic prismatic sorry pearlescent kind of white color on my brow bone because and a little bit on my lid because I really love this shade and it's so pretty in all the lighting it's also a really nice highlight color so of course I'm adding it to my nose and my cheeks all that because it looks so pretty in natural lighting and it's just so sparkly I really like it
Now I'm going in with my brow pencil. I decided again, she is an elf and she's more natural based. So I'm just keeping it my natural brow color. And all I'm doing extra is I'm elongating the tail of my eyebrow and also adding like a little flip um, as well to the end because in a lot of drawings and reimagines of elves, they always have very interesting eyebrow looks. So I thought this little tail here would be an interesting little add-on. Now I decided to contour the rest of my face because I have a very round face and there aren't very clean edges as to where my face is. So a little contouring does help but I'm not very good at it so I kept it very small and subtle. So a little bit by my cheeks and my jawline and a little bit at my forehead. Um, just to give that kind of a little bit of a dimension shape to my face. Now I'm going back with some blush and what I did was apply the blush and then buff it out with my fingers because I wanted the blush there but I wanted it to look more like just a natural blushing of the skin and less of a product to put on my face. So you'll see a good amount of me buffing it with my finger and then in a second I'll be buffing it with my beauty blender because I don't want it super harsh I just want a light pink to my cheeks. And more highlight because sparkle. I also add a little bit more of the pink to my nose um, just to really define the pink nose. And of course mascara because it's not a look without my mascara. Um, I just took a, this one is one of my vol volumizing mascaras. Um, I thought long big lashes would be good for this not like super in your face but enough to be like oh those could be natural long lashes I do have naturally long lashes they're just very pale so that's why I usually have mascara I also do the bottom outer corner lashes as well because I wanted to round out my eyes a little more. Now I'm taking some of the brown shadow and putting it on the outer corner of my waterline and then buffing it out a little bit underneath my eyes as well as the outer corner um, just to bring the eyeshadow down and around my eyes a little bit. And I'm just touching up some of the eyeshadow that got a little uh, faded. Now 
Now, I was going to use liquid eyeliner in brown, but I couldn't find it. So I used what I had, which is my brown aqua paints as my liquid eyeliner. So I wanted to keep it brown because everything else is brown and kind of natural. So I kept with a brown theme. So I decided to elongate the inner corner of my eyes because I thought it added to the fairy elf kind of theme. And I continued it over my lids in a, just a subtle line across the lid. I didn't want a big wing. I didn't want anything like that. I just wanted a nice subtle continuation of the line so it looks natural all the way. And here is where I decided that I wanted her to have some like interesting facial features. So I decided to do these two lines across my nose. Um, I wasn't really sure why I chose the lines and there's no real meaning to them. I just really thought it looked cool and it kind of worked with this kind of healer elf vibe I had going. And I kept it brown because I wanted it to look more like it was just something that was always on her face and less like war paint. And then I added some dots around the eyes to just complement the lines and the eyeshadow and keep everything coherent. Now I'm just going in with a kind of peachy neutral tone lipstick. Um, I wanted to keep it very natural so the curves of my cupid's bow are very soft and light so that it keeps it as more of a kind of easy and calming kind of facial feature. Um, I didn't want any sharp lines of my lipstick. I went in with um, some blushes and a little bit of the highlight onto my lips to kind of matte it and also bring in that sparkle. So now for my hair. My hair is pretty frizzy so I couldn't do the elaborate hairstyle I wanted but what I ended up with was really cute and super easy. So first I took a part of the front of my hair and did a quick braid just straight down um, and tied that off with a clear elastic. I then took the rest of my hair and sweeped it neatly into a side ponytail just to keep it nice and uh, easy. This hairstyle also shows off the ears which I like very much. Speaking of the ears, as you can see, I'm just sliding them over my own ears. You can adhere these to your ears for a sturdier, longer wear if you want with spirit gum, prosade, or fashion tape, but I like just throwing them on when I feel like it. Then I took this choker that I have, which has a small crystal in the middle, and I turned it into a headpiece because I thought it would look really cute and work well with my elf look. Now I'm just taking the braid I created and sweeping that across one ear and tying it around my ponytail using the leftover hair to cover up the uh, elastic that I used. 
to make it more coherent and easy. And that's the makeup. So let's see that costume. So this is just a simple peasant style dress that I got off Amazon. It's really comfy and really cute. And I paired it with this potion bottle necklace to go with the elf healer theme I had. And that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe. And I'll see you next time. As always, stay nerdy, my friends. Later!